Today I went out and picked a bunch of leaves off our walnut trees. It's in uh, fall colors. Um, looking at kind of a greenish, reddish yellow that came off all the leaves. Just all different colors. It's all off of our English walnut trees. And I'm going to boil these leaves up to see what kind of color we can get out of this for dyeing some wool. So this is the first part and we'll resume in a little bit and I'll take snapshots along the way. Okay, not too far into this. I've got everything simmering. But we can see that it's pretty brown, kind of a reddish brown. The yellow of the leaves is going away. But definitely uh, colors changing. Let me get a clear cup and show you what the color looks like. Okay, so I'm going to ladle some out. There is yellow in it, so so you can see that yellowish color in there. Pour this back in. Turn the heat down a little bit. And we're just going to let this simmer and cook for a bit more. See kind of the, this reddish brown on the stove top here. That I spilt. So anyway, we'll be back in a few. All right, so now we're gonna strain this into the into the pan here using a colander to make sure the leaves are uh, kind of a reddish tea color here. Leaves are again kind of green. So taking some of these chemicals from the fall leaves. Since this is walnut, um, full of tannin, so we may not have to do any mordants or anything like that. So leaves are done. It didn't take long to cook these out from being yellow to now brown. So we only have a couple days of color. <laughs> See again how dark this is. It's like dark coffee, but almost. Pretty dark. You can see some of the yellow in there along with the reds and browns through the light when it's thinned out. So that's it for right now. Um, I'm spinning up some yarn. Gonna finish that up real quick then we're gonna rewarm this and then um, get it up to almost boiling because the yarn I'm using is white. It's from my suffix um, fleece that I have. I had washed it 
but washed it in cold water so it's clean but the lanolin's still in it. So when we do this process, we're going to dye it and also get rid of the lanolin into the, into the water. So we won't want to use this for anything else after we're done uh, dyeing this batch of yarn. And I'm going to have a couple batches that are already clean that are going to go in with it. Uh, just uh, to show you so our yarn and uh, so we'll have to probably set this for white balance a little better. Um, so anyway, that's what's going in, except I got a whole bunch more coming. So I don't want to just put this in right now. I want to get the, all of it at once. So we'll be back. Okay, back again. There's our dye bath. Got darker because I let it sit really long, so it kind of oxidized. Looks like dark coffee. So there's kind of a kind of what it looks like. Got it warmed up. Gonna turn some heat up. So I got done making a small skein or a small hank of yarn. So this is what I have. It's 46 yards. And this is um, Suffolk sheep fleece. This was washed cold, so there's still lanolin in this here. And it's two ply. Um, so you can see that. So we're going to put this in along with the other little pieces that I have. So we're going to Put my little pieces in. Ooh, look at that. So we will see what kind of color we get. Into the dye bath we go. Smell the tannin. up even higher. We shall see how well this turns out. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, I think we're going to call this done. Yeah. Look like it's getting any darker. It actually looks like a pretty decent color. And so we're going to Go 
I think our color is going to be kind of a light, a light color, lighter than. Hmm. Be interesting to see. Oh, it did seem to counter. Die from it. Rinsed out. Not dried yet. Just rinsed out and see that beautiful color there. So this is natural fall colors from the walnut trees. They pulled off the tree today. <clears throat> so limited in time frame. We're doing fall colors. Okay. We're going to rinse it. You can see all the color just rinsing out. Just maybe a half an hour. of color. Naturally mordant, mordant I'm sure. Okay, so here's our
mini skein of yarn. I'll take a picture of that in a minute here.